Welcome back to the one on one sessions with Coco. I'm sorry, and I'm your host, Coco M. Give me guys tips, lessons, and teachings on everything spirituality. <laughs> okay, okay, let me be serious. Give me guys tips, lessons, and teachings on everything spirituality. Um, okay, so today I want us to talk about the bad and the good spirits. Name. The good ancestors name but before we get into that my number is at the top as usual but bear in mind this number is for consultation bookings only honestly if you have any questions leave them on the comment section because i will not be answering any questions on the comment section i only be attending to people for consultations and dream translations and in those ones that is where as i will be tackling different questions and yeah things that they want to know anyways today we're going to be talking about the bad ancestors the evil ancestors so this is something that i have mentioned so many times and i've constantly said i am going to go into details about it. i'm going to make a video about it so today i'm doing that and the purpose of this video is not to put the ancestors in a negative light obviously i will never do that i'm a full fledged sangoma like yeah my ancestors would be crazy if i do that but the purpose of this video is to actually alert people that there can be a case whereas you may have a bad spirit, a bad ancestor. And this particular spirit or ancestor may be the reason why certain things are not going away. And this video will actually help in guiding you on fixing or rather removing the spirit so you can actually see progress within your life, within your family, within your generation. Okay. So what are ancestors? That is one thing that I want us to look at before we go into details about this, right? So ancestors are deceased family members whose spirits are in the spiritual realm. Okay? And whereas these spirits are in the spiritual realm, their main purpose is to guide, to protect, and to sort of like um, give blessings okay? and abundance within the family, right? So your ancestors are basically your spiritual guides. They are messengers from God to you in the family name because like because with most healers we are governed and helped and assisted by the ancestors the spiritual gifts that we have we have in, uh, inherited inherited them from our ancestors that is actually something that you need to take note of so the ancestors play a big role within our lives as normal people and also as people with spiritual gifts i'm not saying that people with spiritual gifts are not normal it's just it's different for for us in a way right <laughs> it's a bit different name they spiritually monitor and assist in our lives in the living world or the physical realm as much as they are in the spiritual realm they are there to monitor everything and assist us that is where as you'd find that as spiritually gifted people as sangomas before we do anything we speak to our ancestors we seek guidance from our ancestors because it is their duty to guide us in a way it is their duty to guide us to lead us to advise us and say this is the right path or this is not the right path. This is the right thing and this is not the right thing. It's actually sort of like um, they give us a moral compass and also the right direction in the life that we're supposed to live because when you come into this world, you come with a purpose. Name. Your book of life is already written. There are certain things that you need to do, achieve and accomplish. And with the help of your ancestors, that is what you need, you're going to be doing. Name. Uh, some may offer guidance wisdom blessings and act as a messenger from the higher spiritual realms others cause destruction and disturbance within your life man so the ones that will cause disturbance and destruction within your life are the evil ancestors because the right ancestors or the good ancestors will never do that the right and the good ancestors will do everything in their power to help you to see progress within the family they are happy when they see you moving forward in your life ne? for example it is your great grandmother you don't know this person but they know you they see you you carry their bloodline within them obviously they will look at you as a beacon of light to actually continue the lineage and obviously um accomplish certain things that they were not able to accomplish in that time so they will make sure that they do not cause any disturbance or distraction unless if you piss them off that is an exception but in most cases they will do everything in their power to help you so the minute there's destruction and disturbance within your life ne? and i'm not talking about instances where as this happens but you have um neglected your ancestors or you have not done certain things for them let's say you're doing everything right but the soul disturbance that is a sign that you may have a negative ancestor within your bloodline, right? 
the one thing i wanted to emphasize is that ancestors were once living beings they were just like you and me so we all have different characters né? we all have different personalities we all know that my queen or gogom sorry is this particular kind of person né? and so and so is this particular kind of person so as a living being you also have things that you do some things are right some things are wrong it depends on the kind of person that you choose to be right so when you pass away you pass away with some of those characteristics or basically you pass away with all those characteristics there and that will determine the kind of spirit that you are because certain spirits will say okay when i was alive i was doing this and this and that and that was bad so i am gonna do the right things within the spiritual realm whereas there are others that will say you know what i want to continue my rampage i want to continue making sure that everyone's life is a living mess then and most of the times these negative ancestors you'd find that these are people that were alive and they were practicing witchcraft so obviously when they pass away when they're in the spiritual realm they'll continue to want to see destruction because the one thing that actually anchors or rather that drives witchcraft is jealousy it's envy it's wanting to see everyone else around you suffer né? that is why you'll see a lot of people that practice witchcraft they do not do anything major to actually help themselves but instead they make sure that they make everyone else in the world suffer because it is driven by jealousy and hatred and anger né? all right so as we're looking at this spirits the negative spirits and the good spirits it's also important for you guys to understand the major differences between the the bad ancestors and the good ancestors that way you'll be able to know whether or not the ancestors that are in your life are the good ones or the bad ones then first of all the evil ancestors are people who live their lives having chosen the evil path in life right for example you have that aunt you have that grandmother you know what a long father or long daughter was actually someone who did everything in their power to make sure that everyone nearly everyone's life was a mess you know that this person was cool you know that this person was evil when they were alive obviously when they pass on they will continue to be evil they'll continue to do bad things so try your best not to call that spirit because there's a high chance it will not be a good spirit and even if it is not a negative ancestor you might find that it is a spirit that did not cross over to the spiritual realm correctly and it is a ghost that is tormenting everyone's life because obviously when you lead a bad life there's a high chance that you will not be able to go into the spiritual realm right but all in all negative ancestors do not go to the light at the end of the day they go to the dark side okay number two most of the evil ancestors you'd find that there are people by long or when they were alive they practice witchcraft i mentioned this so i'm going to emphasize again if a person practiced witchcraft when they were alive their spirit is going to be a bad spirit okay? their spirit is going to cause havoc within the family lineage and if you call the spirit into the home in any way whatsoever bear in mind it's going to be similar to this mjua spirit that i was talking about in the previous video right number three the bad ancestors are people that embody jealousy hatred and competitiveness these are people that never wanted to see anyone else move forward even if this person did not practice witchcraft man what you do in the flesh is really what you are in the spirit that is something that i say on a regular basis man so the minute you find that a person is someone who embodies a lot of jealousy a lot of hatred even if the jealousy is not towards you but there's a high chance that in spirit this person will continue to embody those things and cause torment within the family so if let's say for example you have an aunt a grandmother who embodied those things there's a high chance that even in spirit they will embody those things and the minute there is jealousy there is hatred within spiritual work automatically there is no light within that automatically you as a healer will not do anything right if you look at other people and embody jealousy then automatically you somewhat practice an ounce of witchcraft within you that is actually something that i believe in and i'm never going to rebut from that in any way whatsoever it is what it is né? number four they use their spiritual gifts to cause harm and oppose as opposed to healing né? so this is where as we need to look at this into details understand that the gift of wongaka or the gift of a healer it is to heal that is why we're called healers right <laughs> obviously né? but you'd find that obviously when you're in this spiritual healing part of your life i don't know how to call it you are exposed to a lot of things i mean they literally teach you everything everything yeah at initiation they teach you everything you know how to heal and you know how to help 
it is up to you as a person to say, you know what, I am going to use this gift and this power that I have to make sure that I heal. While others get tempted for a lot of reasons. Some reasons could be because of anger, because of being hurt, because of sadness. While others is because of jealousy and, like I said, competitiveness. And like I said, those two things, jealousy and envy, is something that embodies or rather brings forth or gives birth to witchcraft at the end of the day né? so whatever the reason is you find that this person moved from their work of healing and later on decided to use their spiritual gift in a negative way obviously when that happens the right ancestors or the ancestors that said you know what we're giving you this gift i'm gonna move back and that is when i open doors for entities and spirits of the darkness and automatically even when you pass away you are going to join those entities and spirit of the spirits of the darkness as opposed to the ones of the light okay and lastly it can also be a person or people that conjured evil spirits for power wealth when they were alive back to twala okay? so basically when you find what in, you have a temptation you are you know what I want to be rich and I don't want to do it the right way. I want to conjure so many evil spirits. I want to like <laughs> conjure demons and all those kind of things. Yes, you will get those things. You will be happy-ish as opposed to when we're not looking at the things that they will do to you when you're still living. But in reality is that when you do pass away, your spirit will never really rest properly. Your spirit will automatically go to the darkness. Né? So it's basically selling your soul. Né? And automatically once you've sold your soul, you become a spawn of the dark side. So you will become a negative ancestor, a negative energy. And your duty will be to torment the family. So this is in, this happens in case where as the spirit, the negative ancestor is there tormenting the family hand in hand with the particular entity that it was conjured up. For this particular power and wealth and fame that people wanted when they actually did this name i noted down that all this resulted to them not going to the light after their passing instead of remaining in the dark instead of remaining in the dark and continued to cause havoc in spirit name yeah? so this is basically very similar to a portuguese ghost name yeah? like i said it is similar to this particular ghost and it's similar to the jiwa spirit that we spoke about in the previous video name yeah? these people are not able to pass into the light name yeah? what they do to you so we're going to look at what exactly them jiwa people actually do to you and also not them jiwa spirit then negative ancestors what the negative ancestors do to you in the family or in your life and also how it is that you can block them the first thing that they will do to you is that they will block your life and bring bad omens into your life this is something you know, it can occur from generation to generation or you can occur to certain people that have spiritual gifts and this negative spirit is like that is my chance to actually go and govern this person that is where you'll find worry you're a healer but automatically things are not going well for you because this negative ancestor is busy like disrupting every single thing in your life and preventing the good ancestors from giving you guidance and protection and abundance that you need né? because like i said the negative ancestors can be more powerful than the good ancestors because dark magic does have its um strengths here and there né? but Lorna, it does go hand in hand as to whether or not you have invited or allowed this entity to come in né? and when i talk about inviting allowing this entity to come in one thing that i've always emphasized whenever i was doing my teachings especially when i was talking mostly about um communicating with your ancestors who path and whatnot i always say call the ancestors that are in the light emphasize on that because if you do not do that any and every spirit will come and even the dark ones will come as well so when you call spirits randomly then the bad ones will come and your life will be blocked and even the good ancestors will be blocked in the process right number two they ensure that nothing good comes out of rituals that you do to open doors and blessings this is where as you can partner you can slaughter so many goats you can slaughter so many cows man trying to open doors for yourself for your family for your children but automatically let the minute you do these rituals automatically things get worse they go from very bad to really worse automatically right number three they will work through you to continue their malicious deeds this is where as you'd find that you initiated you were a good sangoma you wanted to do good things but because of their influence may understand that the ancestors do influence our lives a lot as spiritual people may but you'd find that with the influence of these negative ancestors you are doing bad things to people 
and you may not even see the poem in it né? because you are being governed by these negative entities but in most cases they want to continue their malicious deeds and they'll continue those through you number four they can also live in spirit to torment the family the same as in jiwa spirits and also another thing that i pointed down is that they can also come with bad entities that do their bidding right so this one goes hand in hand with when the process of ukutwala was done this is where as the negative spirits name that they have conjured up in their living or the waking life um thingy before they passed on continue to move with them and this negative entities and spirit they come through and they are just there tormenting the family even the people that are not doing bad things they find themselves being haunted and attacked and hurt by these entities now if one allows these spirits to enter and manipulate and make them perform evil deeds then automatically the good ancestors will leave that is something that i also emphasize here man. so the major thing how do you block these entities that is something that is very important right so in terms of blocking these entities first of all cleansing your ancestors if you hear or you are told about negative ancestors or bad ancestors or evil ancestors the major thing that is needed it is to cleanse this ancestors to cleanse your ancestors to cleanse it so it can happen that during this cleansing ritual you actually remove the negative energy from this ancestor so this ancestor can move to the light and help you in terms of progressing in life and being a good person or automatically when you do the cleansing of idols or cleansing of badim or of cleansing of your ancestors then automatically this negative ancestor doesn't have any power it moves away ne? secondly stay true to your good nature mm -hmm. be a good person it doesn't hurt to be kind it has never hurt it never will be kind to everyone stay true to your good nature i'm not saying be taken advantage of i'm just saying that do not dabble in negative muti rituals and all those kind of things don't do that if you wanna stay in the light okay number three perform rituals in a purified space or altar so it is very important to make sure that um samuara your altar it is clean because a clean and purified umsamo or altar ensures that only good spirits will come the negative spirits they love the messy places the negative spirits dabble they love they thrive in messy dirty places so if your msamo or your altar is not um clean and purified there's a high chance that along the way the negative ancestors will come and play along and it will not be nice because chasing them away is a whole different story ne? number four protect your umsamo on a regular basis obviously as healers there are certain things that we do to protect our umsamos even for people protect your homes protect your where you're living protect your altars burn incense all those kind of things to make sure that negative spirits do not have any power or any gain in this particular spiritual area because the minute they're able to do that then the negative ancestors the negative spirits within the family they will come as well and they will take over right and the last thing then emphasize that you call and speak to the ancestors that are good né? when you partner and when you pray this is something that i can never emphasize enough it is very important the mouth has power words have power they have a lot of power the fact that we can manifest our outcome for tomorrow itself just like that means that we can also manifest the spirits that come into our life and you if you do, are not specific in what you say to your ancestors and your spiritual guides trust me anything will happen and anything will will come né? that is why even when you partner let's say for example you want to get a promotion be specific in what you're asking for from your ancestors because if you're not specific they'll just give you breadcrumbs whereas you want the whole freaking loaf né? anyways that's enough for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video um Hope you came with a lot of understandings. If you guys have any questions, please leave them on the comment section and I will post them in the next QA video so you guys can have the clarity that you need where you need it. Anyways, thank you guys for joining me. Have a beautiful one. Bye bye.